Ladies and gentlemen, whoa! The lesson that I really have learned, we have to be able to have the uncomfortable conversation. Arguably the GOAT, one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. Michael Jordan is the only black majority owner in the NBA. I had to hear from one of the Charlotte Hornets players to hear what they might have learned from MJ himself playing for that team in Charlotte. Bismack Biambo I spoke with. We have to learn how to accept everybody, and I think that's one thing that I've learned. You know, I, I have friends that's black, that's Chinese, I have friends all, all over the world. So I've got to learn how to see and have different conversations, including my close ones and people that, that might have a different perspective. And I think at the end of the day, we all gotta share love. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You have entered another episode of this NBA series on Authentically. I'm your host, Charlie, and I'm honored to have you hop along on this journey with me, talking to NBA players and coaches around the league about some important lessons they learned from 2020 leading into this year. We've had some time to dissect and reflect on what was a crazy year for all of us. And hopefully, the conversation on social justice will continue beyond just being a trend to keep it real. This next stop, Charlotte, hey, Charlotte, North Carolina, where a guy by the name of Michael Jordan just so happens to be majority owner of the team and the only black NBA majority owner you know, arguably the Golden Hoops, the greatest basketball player to ever lace him up. A part of the game still in the front office. And I wanted to hear from one of the Hornets players on how playing in a franchise where not only do you have Michael Jordan as your owner, but any advice they may have received from MJ being a part of history. And of course, how the journey has been for them in a season beyond just the basketball season. A season of life that was so challenging. Enter Bismack Biyombo. From the Democratic Republic of Congo to his journey eventually being drafted seventh overall by Michael Jordan and company in the 2011 draft, he was one of MJ's first major draft picks as majority owner. The Hornets site lists Jordan becoming majority owner in 2010. NBA.com lists Biyombo being drafted in 2011. Put two and two together. Biz is about that business and has spent a majority of his career with the Hornets, including last season. A season after the unprecedented 2020 season where lessons were learned in life, it's bigger than just a game. And I'm thankful to have had this conversation with Biombo, who really had some incredibly insightful perspective looking back at 2020 and seeing how we can all move forward as a society. So this social justice movement doesn't become just a trend, but in every day, actually living out equality, embracing diversity, and understanding each other type thing. Jordan, you see that Jordan brand, that iconic logo everywhere. You know, MJ has made a name for himself, obviously, on the court and off the court, now as a Charlotte Hornets owner. I had to hear from Bismack. So here's what Bismack had to say on what MJ may have told him, what it's like playing in an organization like that and what he learned from 2020 and even so far this year a uh, time for us all to reflect on what has been a crazy 2020 uh, a crazy even 2021 so far so here's what bismack had to say appreciate your time my question is more related to black history month and in light of what was a crazy 2020 i know the hornets recently developed a racial uh, justice initiative the nba has done a great job promoting black history month i'm just wondering from your perspective biz we've had over a month now, all of us have really to reflect on what was a crazy 2020 and having uh, a primary, a black owner, Michael Jordan, owning the Hornets. What lessons might have you learned from Jordan and from 2020 overall that you want to apply to this year, even beyond Black History Month? Maybe? So to me, uh, the lesson that I really have learned um, is just that we, we have to be able to have the uncomfortable conversation. And uh, it doesn't matter whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you uh, Hispanic, whatever um, the color of your skin is, we have to be able to have this uncomfortable conversation. We all have to have a hearts that welcome everybody. You don't have to be from Africa to be accepted here. You don't have to be from China to be accepted. Uh, we have to learn how to accept everybody. And I think that's one thing that I've learned. You know, I, I have friends that's black, that's Chinese. I have friends all, all over the world. I have fans all over the world. So I've got to learn how to see and have different conversations, include with my close ones and people that 
that might have a different perspective. And I think at the end of the day, we all gotta we all gotta share love, you know. We all gotta share love. So I think that's the most important thing for me. And uh, you know, even around my teammate, you try to have this conversation, give them different perspective. Because even until today, people still say he's black is white, but you know that should never matter in uh, the amount of opportunity you give somebody. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, we all still learning from each other. This is a journey. And, uh, and along the way, I think God is with us and God is going to help us achieve what we wish and desire to achieve in this world. Appreciate it, Biz. Thank you for your time, Biz. Wow, what insight. Hopefully you took something away from that as we all look and strive to get better daily to hopefully move forward and get better overall as a society. Because this whole social justice cause is bigger than basketball. It's bigger than just being a trend. This is life. This is something to embrace daily. So let's all learn to love, like actually do that. Love each other, learn from each other, especially from those who look different from you. Open doors for others, be kind to each other. I know we're not perfect, but we can look to someone who is the perfect example of how to truly respect and love another. His name is Jesus. As you say here in Portugal, Jesus. And he's the ultimate example of what respect and love is because he lives it out every second, every day. One piece of solid advice he gave was simply this. Do to others as you would have them do to you. You may have heard this as the golden rule in school. Well, wake up. Time to continue this simple lesson in life because hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers all wrongs. Love is simple, but we can't overcomplicate it, can't we? How would you want to be treated? We're all not perfect, so let's give out a little more compassion, a little more grace, and a lot more love. Thank you for listening. Hope you have an incredible day. You got this. Don't give up. Don't give in. You, yes you, were made for a specific purpose on this earth. Don't let them tell you otherwise. As Will Smith said in The Pursuit of Happiness, you got a dream, you got to protect it. Go get it. Period. Now go get it. Go get your dreams. Period. Much love to you. I hope you have an incredible day. It's raining now, so I gotta go inside. It's, oh, my reporter mode. This is my Charlie mode. It's raining now, so I gotta go inside. But no, it's a literal storm of brewing. Can't you see? But know that in the storms of your life, you can be free as you can be set free. Whatever you're going through, through the toxicity, through the job struggles, through the financial struggles, through the relationship issues. Keep going and trust in the one. Trust in the solution. Trust in Jesus who can get you through anything and everything in life because on the other side, it's gonna be amazing. So I gotta go inside now in my uh, reporter voice. Uh, it is now raining a lot harder and uh, I must go inside. But as you can see, the rain is trickling down. You saw the lightning and thank you for tuning in. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today, some new refreshing insights. So hopefully we can all get better as a society. Hey, let's go. Drop the mic, but I still gotta catch it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, did you see that? There was lightning. <laughs> I'm doing this in the storm for a reason. It's a literal storm right now. You just saw the lightning. I feel like I'm back in reporter mode. This is Charlie Lapastora with Authentically, the Authentically podcast, and we have a very important topic that we're discussing today, and it's about social justice. Seriously, this is an important topic, and you know, the storm, there's a heaviness that comes along with it, but there's also beauty that breaks out when the storm clears, and that's what I love about storms, even though there's serious storms, there's hurricanes, there's storms that are devastating. You know, God be with everyone going through hurricanes right now, metaphorically and in real life. Um, protect everyone from storms, Jesus, and protect us from any harm. And you know, when the storm clears, what I love about storms is that they pass, right? And so I believe, as I'm recording this episode in a literal storm in Portugal, that this too will pass. Okay, whatever you're going through, it will pass. And as these clouds, as this storm clears, there is artwork that is near. I remember when there was a storm just a few days ago, there was rain just a few days ago, my wife and I was driving on a, 
and in the beautiful forest of Portugal and, and we pull up <laughs> we drive up and we see to the left this amazing the clouds breaking the sun shining through like some type of artwork and that would have never happened if there wasn't a storm so the point of that being whatever you're going through in life keep on going because the coast may be clear soon the drama the storm the mindset, the anxiety, the depression, the family drama, the financial struggles, the work struggles, the toxicity. Keep praying, keep trusting God, and you can make it through because God uses brokenness. All things work together for the good. All things, not just good things, bad things too, mediocre things, everything, the mundane things of life, adulting. God uses all that, all the storm for good in your life. So keep going. You got this. Through the storms of life, you got this. Don't give up, young man. In, don't get weary in doing good. My wife, uh, my incredible wife, had this verse on her heart the other day when we shared a testimony. And there's a verse in the Bible that says, to not get weary in doing good. Do not get weary in doing good. Keep going. Because God uses even the brokenness, even the, the pain, the storms in life for beauty. Let that artwork be a metaphor in your life that when the storm clears, joy comes in the morning. Pain may come in the night, but joy comes in the morning. So hold on to that joy and keep going. You can do this. I believe in you, Amber believes in you, and most importantly, Jesus believes in you because he made you. He knows exactly what you're going through intimately, day in and day out. So let go, let God, let's go. Let me tell you something. The storm will clear, and I believe the storm you're going through in your life will clear again. And for this specific episode, you already know I'm talking to another NBA player on this NBA mini-series on Authentically. And it's an honor to have you today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Man, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this podcast. Wherever you're listening from, wherever you're watching from, just know that you are not alone. You know, I've got a new series coming up after this NBA series. A sneak peek talking about mental health. So you heard it here. We're almost done with this mini NBA series. And I, I just can't wait to share that with you guys. And in the meantime, you know, you can follow Amber and I's journey right here on YouTube. You can comment below on maybe something new you learned. Or you can, you know, hit me up. Podcast, if you're listening to that podcast, you know, wherever you're listening from, what you may have learned from this episode from Biombo, uh, you know, or from one of these episodes so far. I would love to hear what you guys are going through and what you might want to hear next. Uh, but in the meantime, man, have a blessed day. And as my wife and I say... Have a beautiful and blessed day. If you like this video too, please subscribe. Please like it and share it with your friends. That's the marketing. In the meantime, peace. You already know, keep it authentically. I'm your host, Charlie. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Know you are loved today, wherever you're at. All right, I got a little freestyle. What's up, y'all? My name is Charlie. I'm in the rain. It's not a Harley. This is a drive of life. It's a journey. I got to keep going. I got to keep flowing. I got to keep growing. I can't give in. I can't lose sight. Thank you, Bismack, for that insight. And as we look to the one who has saved my sins and yours, his name is Christ. He is God of this universe. So I got to keep growing. I got to keep going. I got to keep flowing so he can keep glowing. Woo, drop the mic. But I still got to catch it. <laughs> Hey, that's a wrap, that's a wrap, that's a wrap, y'all. That's a wrap, that's a wrap.